just when you thought this build can't get any better, it did. What's going on guys, Big BP back with another Game Case Arcade video. The Shinku Hadouken 40 terabyte build. Eugene is is just he's always he's always insane. I love the guy. Always find stuff on sale. We just got it in the mail. He just purchased a 500 gigabyte M.2 SSD to add to the build. So uh, now we're at 40.5 uh, terabytes for this build. Pretty insane. Uh, Eugene, awesome dude. I, I, he's just like me. Anytime you get something on sale, he kind of jumps on it. Um, a couple weeks back, he messaged me and said, Hey, Vic, I know that there's two M.2 slots on my motherboard. Make sure to not forget the screw. Um, in case I wanted to add an M.2, so I said, nobody, it's already on it, it's already mounted. And uh, basically, he texted me and said, hey, Vic, I, I, that was on sale, 500 gig, um, crucial M.2 uh, solid state drive was on sale. I think it was like 40 or 50 bucks, which is pretty good for an M.2 drive. Send it to me. Now I got to figure out more games to add to it and stuff. Um, so it's going to be a quick update. Uh, in all honesty, I said right now with this build, and honestly, everything else, not much as far as emulation, meaning systems like PS3 or the 360 are really going to be updated because it's all about emulator. He's got all the files for it. Nintendo Switch, they are adding games. So here and there, I will find XCI files and NSP files. Um, but for right now, uh, just gathering a couple of PC games. PC games, as I always say in, in my videos, PC games are always the biggest thing I will update because every day or every other day um, I, I go and check out these games. So there's a couple of games that are coming out very soon in August and September. Uh, big thing, there's one uh, that's a WWE kind of um, NBA Jam style game called Battlegrounds. Uh, we got a Tony Hawk game coming out in September, so I'll be able to fill it up. Um, just want to go through a couple of things real quick as far as what I have. His uh, 500 gigabyte M.2 slot is the Q drive. Uh, again, added more PC games to it. As of right now, I got a couple. And again, I do aim for games that are arcade friendly or, you know, triple A titles that are playable. Um, Destroy All Humans is a very arcade style game. You can't use the arcade sticks, obviously. But again, I do aim for games that are great games um, and honestly, arcade friendly. Um, in all honesty, some of these games, like this new one right here, Fast and Furious, um, a lot of um, negative reviews of it, not only for its size, this is an 82 gigabyte file. Um, it's just people are making fun of like the graphics and all that. I put it here because it has an arcade burnout style to it. Um, so I have it. Again, I have games to it. We have about another 300 gigs to fill up on this. Um, so we're going to keep adding stuff uh and again it's very cool because of what i i search online um facebook now keeps giving me some suggestions uh new game i don't think it's new uh but it's called remote life um uh basically a 2d kind of scroller with your guns almost like a 1942 but a side scroller again i always aim for arcade style stuff so now as far as a couple updates on the regular stuff again techno parrot and the tato type x is also the most current stuff that does get updated. Uh, I do have now the Batman uh, Raw Thrills game working on this system. I'm just going to launch um, Hyper uh, uh, Rocket Launcher. It's just much easier for us to kind of navigate. Um, Rocket Launcher, if it works in Rocket Launcher, it will work in Hyperspin, so that's kind of like our back end. Um, if I do go to our Sega Ring Edge, I do now have Batman here. We'll launch it real quick. Uh, I couldn't get this game to launch for the life of me. Got a Facebook group called Arcade 101 One Stop Shop. A couple of guys there, cool guys. We got Guac Lee, B Kong, uh, his YouTube channel, Kongs Are Us. So we all help each other out. Uh, shout out to them for always hooking it up and basically helping out emulation. Uh, so they hooked me up with this Batman file. I was never able to get it to work, but now we finally have Batman to work, and it works with the. Uh, Xbox controller. It is a driving game. Um, uh, B Kong, Kong's R Us, he does um, yoke mods for the Star Wars RK 1 Up. His drive is also insane. He makes it specifically for games that will work with the yoke. Apparently, this game will work with his yoke. 
Um, so really cool as far as that. Uh, also, another thing I do have, and I got to work uh, on Tato Type X, I did get Operation Ghost to launch in full screen. Um, Eugene, again, hilarious dude. He saw my video and he messaged me. He goes, yo, Vic, you're the man, dude. Like, you'll figure out how to get it to work full screen. And then sure enough, we do have it working on full screen. So again, just a lot of stuff to get it working and set. So again, I do have arcade buttons working for this game. Again, the big thing was that the Sega logo would be present, but the bottom of the screen would disappear. It wouldn't be playable. And as you can see, full screen, we do have that key chip details all there. So awesome stuff. Uh, as far as the PC games, again, like I said, that is the most up-to-date thing. I think I'm at like two, 217 games now. Um, and again, uh, a lot of cool stuff. I always try to aim for arcade-friendly games. Um, I'm going to load up this Remote Life. Unfortunately, this Remote Life game did not work with um, Xbox 360 CE. Would have been an awesome game. Uh, but in all honesty, this game does need two... It needs, it needs, your, it needs two analog sticks. Uh, I'm going to turn on one of his 20 Xbox controllers. And uh, basically, we're going to launch this game here. I think I had to turn on the controller before I started the game. But let's see what I got. All right. Sorry about that. You do need the Xbox controller on before you start this specific game. Unfortunately, the Xbox, C, um, Xbox 360 CE program did not work with this. Uh, I'm going to launch this game, but this game does use two analog sticks. The left analog stick does control the ship. I don't want to crash or else I'll die. And then the right analog stick controls the aiming of the gun. Um, so it would be awesome if this game did work on the arcade controls. But again, it does need two analog sticks. So it's not really that great. It wouldn't be that practical. Um, but again, as you can see, aiming for arcade style games. This is an arcade style game to me. Um, you know, not much saving going on and all that. But then again, remember, I do have the console edition that I'm working on, which is this. Instead of using arcade sticks, it would basically use Xbox controllers. So again, I stay downloading PC games and all that and just trying to get the most newest current stuff. Um, but there's like one game just so you could see it. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick a new one that uh, I just got. Let's exit out. That'd be great. Wrong button. Exit cool. Uh, and the new, the, the new game that it came out was called uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, again, that is like a triple A title. Not really meant for an arcade cabinet. But again, with Eugene's setup, he does have a setup where he could sit. He's going to project it to a big screen. So that's where I kind of branched off a little bit. Um, I just want to show off this game because... You could ignore this. We're going to do it. Uh, I have to do a graphics card driver update, but you basically just press OK and then it will launch. Um, the craziest thing with this game is just the graphics. Um, his graphics card, it's, it's pretty insane. We got ultra settings on this. I never played this game. Um, I did launch like the pre log or whatever, the prologue. Um, so it was very interesting to see uh, how it is. I think I have my audio is going to the arcade speakers. <laughs> I should actually exit out. Sorry about that. I didn't have to actually exit out. I just had to change the audio settings on this. I just wanted to show this off because this, I mean, graphics on this and the fluidness of his PC, it's just mind-blowing to me. Again, Horizon Zero Dawn. Just to show you real quick, if you do go into settings, we go into graphics. I do have everything set to ultra on this um just again amazing graphics on it so again with his unique setup and his kind of setup he'll be able to broadcast this to a big screen tv um so it is a pretty cool idea to now add a couple of games that will basically let you sit i also try to aim for games that don't have a lot of gigs to it um but then again triple a titles do have a lot of gigs modern warfare warzone that just got updated and it's another game that has a lot of gigs to it so him adding this 500 gigabyte m.2 slot keep that in mind too it's an m.2 the load times on this is just unreal 
Uh, M.2 slots are way faster than your traditional hard disk drives, even at 7200 RPM spinning. So just uh, keep that in mind. It's, uh, it's pretty insane. Again, I've never played this, but cutscenes always look gorgeous, obviously. It's more about actual gameplay footage. It's just with his PC. Everything is just so fluid on this. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. But this is a game that will require the Xbox controller, obviously. So, again, just wanted to show that off. We can exit out real quick. And again, I do have this inside of Hyperspin, so it definitely will launch. The last thing I do want to show off real quick, Destroy All Humans I will actually show, but I did want to show off this Fast and the Furious game. Um, again, it's got a lot of flack, especially like for the retail price of it. Um, and the size of the, of, the, of the game. I mean, it's a massive 82 gigs. Uh, I'm going to ask Eugene if he wants me to keep it. Uh, I don't know how big he is on racing games, but it's just kind of insane to see this big of a game and just the reviews on it kind of scare you. And it's made by Bandai Namco. So, like, the people that make, like, Tekken, uh, I'm not sure what happened to this game. But, again, I haven't fully played it. I definitely will play it. It looks like a very interesting, um, you know, racer. Again, like I said, to me, it's an arcade racer. Some people in the reviews have noted it like that, especially with this burnout takedown style thing. Uh, let me bump up the volume. I originally tried this game like running uh, with the keyboard. So I'm going to launch the game. I'm actually going to pause it go into settings, make sure that we are in ultra. Again, this beast of PC, it's, it just, it tears through everything I throw at it. So let's just see, make sure real quick, options, visuals, let's put it to very high. We're almost at the base. I think it said I had to restart. Left my boy at home at this so again, we are set to ultra or high, very high setting. I'm trying to just show off the camera. While I kind of dodge everything, so see, like this is where like the game kind of had flack because Letty has like a turret on her uh, Nissan, I think it is. Yeah, it's it's again to me. I know that there's a part where it does like these takedowns, and it definitely has like a burnout style. Just hit her. Yeah, see, like the turret. That's him. And it's just like the, the, the character models. It's, it's got a lot of flack, but you definitely have to give it a chance. A lot of people do say if you are, are old school gamer, I mean, again, I'm going to be 30 years old. I enjoy 30, uh, 30, uh, burnout style games. So again, it's not about the graphics. It's not about all that story mode. As long as the story mode is great to a game, we dig it. our guy has some friends running interference. Let's open up the nitrous and take them out. So you're going to see when I get close, we're going to do a burnout style takeout, if I can. I don't remember what button it is. Well, it didn't guide me to it. <laughs> My driving, though. We've got more incoming. Looks like this yeah, see, so, so you get like a slowdown no takedown. It's just there's a lot of crashing. <laughs> I mean, you get some unrealistic things going on, like this tank just appears. That can't be strong. And like our charger is gonna just destroy it. Our charger, our challenger. Watch out! These escorts are packing. Let's take them out. Yeah. So you got like this like dash thing. We got that. You need to take out that flamethrower. Yeah. Will you try it, driving blind? I can't see a thing here. Look for the three fuel tanks on the back. I see them. Use the harpoon to pull those tanks off. I'm on it. So now we got Letty now. Yeah. I'm gonna launch. Nice. Two more to go. It's gotta be a billion degrees in here. We just got one more tank. I can't see anything. Nice work, Letty. I'm pretty sure my steering wheel. I mean, as you can see again, it's 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 alright. It's it's a pretty interesting game. I would definitely play it. So we're gonna exit out real quick. And I just want to launch the last one, uh, which is Destroy All Humans. Now, the Destroy All Humans, um, I actually loaded it on my Dell Optiplex. And 
again, my Dell Optiplex, 16 gigs, uh, 1050 Ti on it. It took like two minutes to load, but look at how fast it loads on this. And again, I, I, I tested it on my Dell Optiplex, and it would just hang on the screen for a little bit. Uh, I mean, we're, we're right now like at the main menu. So I definitely do in the future want to do like a side by side thing, but you could just see right now like the load times on this are just uh, great. I mean, again, it's not a Tekken 7 style low time game. It's just still like in and out compared to my Dell Optiplex. It took it took a little bit of a while to get that launch. So we're going to skip this. This is an old school game. I think it first came out on like the N64, the GameCube. I never played it. Um, or was it the PlayStation? I think it was the PlayStation 2 actually. Because I didn't have a PlayStation 2 growing up. Let's see real quick if we go to options. Video. This is already manually set to ultra, which is great. So again, just to kind of show off the graphics on this. Where am I going? Should probably go to the yellow. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. Hmm. Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Again with the moo. Hmm. I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. Try to get into maybe some just actual gameplay. We neurons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. Oh god. <laughs> Curse these creatures. Again, I, I never, I never played this game. I didn't really understand oh. the concept to it, but apparently, it's a very fun game, like an arcade-style game. So, extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. You can consume the brainstem. Right. Cool. So there you guys have it. I mean, again, a quick little update. Um, we're still working on the part top. We are adding games constantly. Again, Vic VP, Game Case Arcades.